No true balloons. Okay. This is going to be brief. Okay, let's do something real brief. I will try to get on later. I will try to get on later. Alright, today is the 20th of January. I'll do it so you guys can see. So, Ace of Swords. Okay. King of Wands. Looks like someone wants to communicate something or is giving some type of clarity. But. But. Yes. It's almost like someone doesn't want to say something here. Normally, this would be like, okay, changing my perspective, looking at things differently. But with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, like this weighs heavily on somebody. So if something's like at a pause or a standstill or over, um, <clears throat> it's like over in one person's eyes, but not in the other, because somebody still wants to come in and talk. And I will be on later. I haven't. I think this is going to be Patreon. I don't know if this is going to be YouTube, but you will have your um, souls contracts. today for sure. Okay. Um, so you have this masculine energy. It, it's kind of like. Wanting to win at all cost here. Yeah. Like this energy wants change, is strong. So I don't know if someone said something and now they're like, shit. Or like, wait, hold up. Because there's feelings. So I don't know if there was a ton of events or if there's going to be a ton of events. So tell me about this Ace of Swords. Princess of Wands and the Strength card. Okay, so this is somebody who has the strength to pursue something, to go after something. This is somebody who's ready for an adventure. I don't know if she spoke the truth, if she wants to speak the truth. It looks like she spoke the truth about something. She has the strength. I don't know the strength for what, but she can definitely endure what needs to be endured. But... She also, at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. She is disappointed. She's not looking at the past. There's, there's two cups in front of her. So let's find out about this King of Wands. So you have a feminine energy that's you know seems to be disappointed. You have another. You have a King over here that is. I wouldn't say focused on long term because the King of Wands is not somebody who's focused on long term. They are in this predicament. I don't know if it's with another feminine or looking at something long term. If somebody's just too concentrated on work here. Because this is playful. The bottom of the deck is the Prince of Wands. That's somebody who's playful. Wants to try new things, but is very concentrated on work or family or something long term. So you have two different energies. You have one here that's ready for an adventure and she can endure a lot of things and she can speak the truth and she can hear the truth. I don't know if she heard the truth. She's disappointed or she just has like some type of clarity right now. She's just disappointed. But hey, like, fuck it. I'm on a new adventure. I have the strength to do this. You have another energy. The King of Wands does not commit. Does look like he's interested in her, but it's not a committal 
type of person. Um, right now, I don't think it's just speaking of fire. I think in general, because they're coming in as the Prince of Wands. This is somebody who likes to try new things. Again, it's it's playful energy. So to me, this person's concentrated on long-term, probably work, themselves, family. What's the hangman? <clears throat> so healing is necessary. I can't say who this belongs to per se. It's whomever's needs to change how they're thinking about something. Because this would, in this deck, this is breaking away from patterns. This is healing. Temperance is a healing energy, right? Um, but going, being calm, going within. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Princess of Swords. So I don't know if this is linked to the feminine or not. Because this Princess of Swords is somebody who is thinking, a practical thinker. I don't think it's speaking of reconciliation. It's it's balance. I don't see balance between anybody. Prince of Cups. I, I do see a masculine energy that clearly likes a feminine, and the feminine clearly is disappointed right now over something. It looks like communication, getting the truth or something. It, it's just... <clears throat> seems to be is what it is right now you could be dealing with an Aquarius but you got the star right so I'm thinking it's saying more about an Aquarius but this is like after a shit storm comes peace right having hope that type of stuff so hopefully this energy has that but at the same time with the eight of swords is still mentally stuck battling something this card talks about interference so I don't know if there's something going on the outside that you're unaware of Looks like something they need to figure out. Let's see what the Ten of Pence is for this person, for the masculine. And then I want to see what this temperance is. So it could be a family situation. It could be a secret within the family. I don't think this is anyone following their intuition. This is somebody who kind of wants justice for something. I don't know what that's regarding. If it has anything to do with you or not. So, if this person does want long term, they're definitely not telling this person. Because this one's disappointed and is ready for a new adventure. And she looks clear. So it looks like this one's break some type of pattern. And this one's probably feeling a little stuck. So what's this temperance? The devil. I don't think that's fear. You know... Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, again with the Five of Cups. So somebody is really disappointed here. It could have been a toxic situation. It could have been an addiction. This is this card represents detaching. So I'm hoping that an energy would detach from that. It looks like they are, with Temperance being there. So someone's getting out of this energy. And let's see what the strength is for the woman. For the feminine energy. King of Cups. So it does, you know, whatever her disappointment is, is because of the masculine energy. Something they said or something the feminine realized. But it's kind of saying have strength when it comes to this masculine 
So I don't know if it's you guys that have this mutual thing going on. It looks like they're more concentrated on that. That could be a family scenario work or this is them seeing long term. But right now, they're not coming in as the king of cups. They're, they're coming in as the king of wands. But he has a thing at the bottom of the deck was the page of wands. So they're not even acting like the king of wands. So to me, you have somebody, no matter what sign they are, in fire energy. And I'm not saying you're dealing with somebody immature by any means, but it is an, um, a younger immature energy. It's not anything committal or long term or anything like that. Let's see what the King of Wands is up to real quick. Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords in this deck is somebody who carries a lot of sorrow right now and is pissed off. So I think there's possibly two women here because this one was disappointed but is ready for a new adventure and has the strength dealing with this person, clarity, moving. This one's going on an adventure, okay? So I don't think that's the same woman. Tell me about this Queen of Swords real quick. It could be you, but I don't, I don't know. Possibly. Because you're ready, this energy is ready for a new adventure too. And if this one is ready for this new adventure too, either two people want the same man or this is the same energy and you're just, you're sad right now about a situation. Maybe this energy is dedicating their time elsewhere. The masculine does seem to have feelings for you, is kind of hoping. It looks like there was some type of shit storm. It does look like there's an energy breaking free from an old pattern. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the chariot, you know, triumphant, moving forward. But this one is, this one's tough because they're both going in two different directions. So change is necessary. Somebody you know, needs to take the initiative, needs to put action behind something like in order to have that passage. And then you have the three of cups with the four of pence. So even though you know you or somebody else wants to move forward, it is there's still something being held back. You know, you got the nine of cups king of pence looking at somebody that probably is they're happy on the other side of them they have the empress you have another energy over here the empress seems to be feeling left out of a situation so something flipped and that's another reason why i came on because the energy flipped i don't quite know how it flipped yet but this is why i came on to do a little something i'm glad the energy flipped because we've been waiting for something to flip. It just quite hasn't come together. This energy could have took, what do you take that, a 360? I don't know. They could have took that and totally like, whoop, made a different decision and went the other way. Or this one made a decision, went the other way because this one wasn't deciding and was kept hanging things up. So all I know is that you have a feminine energy Two, from what it looks like here, someone feels left out, sad, misses somebody, or just worried about a situation. And then you have another one over here that's disappointed in a situation. So I'm not really sure what that's forgotten, too. But it's having a new start, whether it's work, love, or just saying, you know, say la vie to the situation. You do what you have to do over here because I don't want part of it regardless of how you feel because you are dealing with somebody older or your same age you know there's probably possible love or you're dealing with a water sign 
there was some type of shit storm. There is feelings, but this is just the Prince of Cups. And I don't mean to demean or anything, but this is still somebody who is a Prince of Cups. The two men that are coming in as kings are still in the playful energy of like, wee butterflies and trying new things and you know so that's where it's 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 tricky because is it their tables are gonna turn or is it you turned the table and went in a new direction so I guess we shall see when I come on later and, and start reading because with you wouldn't have this disappointment with a new start. See what I'm saying? So I don't know if you're excited about a job or just you're planting your own damn seeds. Because you have the strength. You have the clarity. Whether you, someone gave it to you or you got your own. You're ready for an adventure. You're out. You have another one that's just distracted. So you're probably not getting the attention you deserve. So I don't know if that table will turn or if you turned the table. We shall see. I love you guys. I'll see you in a little while.